Before getting into the transformer talk, the loudspeaker repairs that I mentioned that were pending, and a new reproduction dial scale that I made. Took a photo, used paint, touched up the uh, area that was missing, and printed that out on glossy paper and laminated it with a uh, five mil lamination sheet that turned out, uh, I think, pretty well. Hi folks and thanks for joining me. Hope everyone out there is uh, doing well. You can see I've got the little Jackson Bell receiver back in the uh, chassis stand and the purpose for doing so is to do a little testing on the transformer. I had a chance to rewind and compare the results of the test against an article that um, I ran across when I was doing the rewind. A Mr. Darwin H. Harris, he wrote a really great article back in December 1953 issue of Radio Electronics. It was entitled Rating Power Transformers. So it's really a cool way of taking a unknown power transformer and better understanding or estimating what the high voltage current capacity would be of that winding. Again, we're not dealing with the uh, filament or heater string, just the high voltage winding. So I know what my design looks like. So let's take my design and plug in his numbers and work through the formulas. It's real simple math. And uh, just see where that places my transformer in relationship to uh, the calculations that Mr. Harris provided. Again, I'll put a link in the uh, video description. You can uh, read the entire article there. It's very informative. So let's get started. As I mentioned, I've already pulled the rectifier tube out. Let's measure the uh, DC resistance here across the uh, winding and just take note of that. And you can see at this point we're at 452 ohms. Again, that's across uh, both plates in my case. It's a center tap transformer. And let's go back up to the uh, AC voltage side and you might be able to see this. I've clipped on the uh, primary side a little 9 volt unregulated AC power supply or wall warp. Of course it runs hotter than 9 volts. Let me plug this in and we'll get a reference uh, voltage of the uh, secondary high voltage in relationship to the primary. We'll determine the turns ratio, not the uh, turns per volt, again just the turns ratio we'll multiply that by the line voltage of 120 just to estimate what the uh, unloaded high voltage would be. Then we'll use that number and divide that by the resistance to come up with what's called the VO ratio. And then we'll apply some multipliers and then back into the numbers and see where that puts the uh, capacity of the power transformer in milliamps and then we'll convert that back into circular mills and uh, see where, again, that places the uh, transformer itself based on my rewind. Okay, we'll use uh, 46.9 for our reference off of the uh, wall wart for the high voltage side. Let me uh, move the leads down to the uh, primary side. Let's look at the voltage there and take note of that. And there's our uh, primary side again, 9 volt unregulated wall warp. It's kind of what you'd expect to see. Again, there's no load to speak of, so 11.58s. We'll use that for our reference number for the primary. So to calculate the turns ratio, we'll take that voltage from the secondary, the 46.9, we'll divide that by the 11.58 volts, and you can see that gives us a turns ratio, 4.05. We'll multiply that by 120 volts, what our line input would be, and that would give us an estimated voltage, 486 volts. Now we can take our calculated high voltage number and we can divide that by the DC resistance across the high voltage winding that was 452 ohms. And you can see that gives us the VO ratio of 1.8. 0.75. Now we can take that number and multiply it times 25 for a capacitor input filter. 
and the number you see, the 26.8 or 9, would be in milliamps that that particular winding would be able to support based on Mr. Harris's documentation. Again, according to Mr. Harris, when using a choke input filter on the input side, you take the VO ratio times 35, and you can see the uh, current limitation then of the transformer would be around 37.63 milliamps. So looking back at the calculation for the capacitor input filter of roughly 27 milliamps, if we multiply that times 1.414, we'll get the peak current. And you can see that comes up to uh, 38 milliamps, which is also a match for the uh, times 35 factor for a uh, choke input filter. The previous videos I touched on the max current, that being 500 circular mils per amp. So if I look at the 36 AWG wire that I used, it has a circular mils of 25. I can divide that by 500 and again that gives me the maximum current of uh, 50 milliamps. Again, just using 500 circular mils as a reference. Most transformers back in the day were wound at 500, sometimes less, sometimes more. So let's apply the numbers. We already set a capacitor input 26.9 milliamps. Let's look at the uh, circular mils per amp and uh, see where that comes out to be. We just plug in the numbers here. You can see for the capacitor input around 929 circular mils per amp. Again, this is based on Mr. Harris's calculations, so that's a good number. And if we look at the uh, choke itself input at uh, 37.6 milliamps, you can see the circular mils per amp of the wire would be 664. Now, if we stretch that all the way to the max of 500, let's do the math there. As we did in the previous examples, again, I can take that VO ratio of 1.07, and you can see here I'm going to multiply it by 46.5, and that's going to give me 50 milliamps. And we already know 50 milliamps is really the uh, max for the uh, 36 AWG based on 500 circular mils per amp. Again, if we back into the number this way, we'll take the 25, which is the uh, circular mils for the 36 AWG wire. Plug in the numbers, and you can see we back into the uh, 500 circular mils per amp number. So I think based on the calculations from Mr. Harris, they're just a little conservative for the smaller transformers. So keep in mind, this is just one example of a transformer that I actually know the wire gauge. So a multiplier of uh, 46 or so may not be appropriate for all transformers. But again, it gives you a baseline to uh, work off of if you don't know the rating of a, a small transformer when trying to estimate the high voltage uh, capacity. I appreciate everyone out there watching. For those that celebrate Christmas, I hope you have a blessed uh, Christmas and a Happy New Year.